reading is correct, Captain. It is the fence, and there's some lead content involved, which would be Kip's weight belt. They are bearing 165 precisely, at a distance of 280 yards from the ship. Thank you, Tracy. Jack, did you get all that? Yes, Skipper. Go to 185. From your present position, that should bring you directly over the fence. I'm diving now. See you in a couple of minutes. Right, Skipper. I'm in the water, Jack. I should pick you up shortly. I'm onto the fence, Ted. I can see it now. I can see Kip. I'm going in after him. You'll know where I am if my radio cuts out. Ted. If I can. Burn the car that locates that fence. I never want to see it again. Tracy, I forgot to tell her about Kip. Jet boat one, this is Endeavour. Come in, please. Over. Go ahead, Captain. Over. Sorry to leave you stranded, Tracy. This is the first chance I've had to call you back. We got Kip out. He's not in very good shape, but at least he's alive and he's sleeping peacefully. I'm sure he's going to be all right. We're moving on to Bowen to get him to hospital. You might advise Steve of the change of plan. Over. He has that, Captain. Over. And Tracy, Kip asked me to give you a message. And I'd like you to know that Jack and I feel the same way. Message reads, I'll always love you. Over and out. <laughs> 